So I had a situation today. My husband's sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. So I just did a 700 Club segment and it was talking about how I overcame violence in my life. And so here I am. I find myself in the Kroger pickup line today and it was super packed. And so I'm sitting there waiting to see how I'm going to pull in. And I start inching forward and all of a sudden I hear honking like beep, 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 like crazy honking. So I look over my shoulder and there's this blonde headed lady in a minivan looking like a soccer mom, just tearing me a new one, just shaking her head, rolling her eyes, yelling something. And so I hit reverse and I go back to where our windows are matching and I'm just looking and I'm like, okay, go ahead. Like I wasn't trying to do nothing to you. And she keeps like saying stuff through the window and my window's down at this point so I just point to my ear like I can't even hear you so she rolls her window down and she's like I'm next and I don't even remember everything that she said but she was irate like she was freaking out that I was trying to take her spot and um she was really disrespectful and I looked at her and I was like hey I don't do this often I didn't see you I wasn't trying to cut go ahead she's like I'm next and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'm just looking at her. And at this point, I'm in complete shock just the way she's acting. And part of me was thinking like, lady, you really don't know what you're doing. You know, you're doing it too and what I'm capable of. Flesh, right? Flesh. But the Holy Spirit literally took hold of me. And I was able to remain silent. I was able to be super polite to her. It wasn't fake. I don't think I've ever had that much self-control for someone being so disrespectful to me before. Definitely the Holy Spirit. So no matter how nice I'm being, she's completely still rude. Like I'm unable to defuse her. She's going to be mad, right? So she rolls her windows up and she's still looking over at me and shaking her head and rolling her eyes like I'm the most stupidest peon in the whole entire earth. So now I'm sitting there and now it's a struggle. Now I'm just like, be quiet, Dana. Look away, Dana. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I just got done doing a 700 Club segment about how I overcame violence and how I used to fight all the time. And God taught me a new way, right? So here's the test. Like, are you really living that? When this soccer mom lady who, you know just by looking at her, she's never thrown hands in her life, but she's throwing that mouth a whole lot, right? So someone like me is sitting there like, mm-hmm fighting these thoughts in my head, fighting these, you're lucky I'm saved thoughts. <laughs> and so I kind of think, well, she's going to calm down and, and be cool, you know, because I'm being way too polite. Like there's no way you're going to keep being a jerk when someone's that polite to you and you've just made a fool of yourself, right? I'm thinking she's going to feel really foolish because I'm over here being nice. Well, even though I let her go first, I end up in the line in front of her because there's two lanes and something was blocking her way from getting in. So I actually end up getting served first which really ticked her off so I could look over. Now she's on the phone with somebody and she's just, I don't know. I know she's talking about me. <laughs> she's mad, right? Because I stole her spot or something in her mind. So I'm sitting there and uh, she pulls off and all of a sudden these tears start just streaming down my face. Like I am crying. I feel hurt. My pride feels hurt and I don't understand why I'm crying, like crying, crying, like tears and tears. And I'm like, God, this hurts. And it felt like he was like, it's supposed to hurt. Your pride is dying. And then I had this feeling like I just passed a pretty big test. It felt significant, okay? It might not seem significant the way I'm describing it. It might not seem like a big deal to you. But to me, I felt like I passed such a big test, but I felt so humiliated. And when I was younger, I was bullied really bad, right? So all those thoughts of like, oh, like this soccer mom just punked me in her minivan. Like she, I just let her get away with that. Like I had to push all that aside. And the Holy Spirit gave me a moment where I was able to. And it was like I could feel his pleasure in me. I could feel that he was like, yes, you're about that life. <laughs> you're about that life that you signed up for in me. I signed up to be conformed into the image of Christ, right? And so it was this crazy feeling of just another layer of being broken off of me and it hurt in my flesh and my emotions and my pride I'm crying because I'm so like being torn the decision I made to follow Christ like killed a part of me that that needed to be killed and it hurt and the other part that the Lord showed me was sometimes 
you're going to follow him. You're going to do things his way. And you're not going to see an outcome physically. You're not going to see an outcome. That person is not going to turn their heart towards you. That situation is not going to change. It's not going to get easier. It might even get harder. But what I signed up for was to be conformed into the image of Christ. And the way someone responds to me, whether I'm nice or not, that is not success. If they're nice to me because I was nice first, anybody could be nice to someone who's nice to them. Success is is conforming to the image of Christ, even if everything around you opposes it, even if that lady still starts trying to cuss you out or whatever else. Being like Christ is the reward, not somebody else's response. So sometimes we think we pass a test and then we get bitter right after because we're thinking, hey, I did what God wanted and it's still not a good situation for me. Go ahead and cry those tears. Go ahead and let that pride die. Let those expectations die because we signed up to be like Jesus. And I don't feel like Jesus was rewarded very much on the earth. His disciples were a mess. People betrayed him. People misunderstood him constantly. And all he did was love. So I can take what happened today. I could take that with a grain of salt only through his spirit. But I just want to share that little victory today. God bless you. Have a good night.